بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر مہوی سیف ورکنگ ایز کنسلٹنٹ گانیکولوجسٹ ان گائننگ اینڈ اسٹیٹکس ان ٹرشری کیئر ہاسپٹل آئی ہیو ڈن ایم سی پی ایس اینڈ ایم سی پی ایس ان گائنی اینڈ آپس ٹو ڈے آئی ول ڈسکس ود یو پیگنینسی ان کووڈ نائنٹین پینڈیمک Objective of this discussion is to provide information regarding COVID-19 impact on pregnant women and infants, to provide information regarding COVID-19 and lactation, discuss nursing care of the pregnant women and infant in response to COVID-19 pandemic. So, first of all, we will discuss what is COVID-19. It is a viral illness affecting lungs and breathing. Symptoms mostly include fever, cough, fatigue, shortness of breath, flu, sore throat, gastrointestinal symptoms. Sometimes there is loss of taste and smell. In severe cases, it may develop into pneumonia, sepsis, organ failure, and sometimes death. Most symptoms occur 2 to 14 days after exposure to the affected patient. How we can prevent? What is the prevention? Always screen for the patient or for the symptoms. Droplet and contact precautions should be taken. How it can be taken? Always maintain social distancing. Wash hands frequently. Wear mask. Don't touch your eyes, face and mouth. In this way, you can prevent the disease. treatment there is no approved medication until unless you have to manage symptoms you have to manage symptoms conservatively vaccination is strongly recommended vaccination is recommended even for pregnant ladies there is a myth that pregnant ladies can not be vaccinated but it is not true vaccination is strongly recommended for pregnant ladies in all trimesters So effect of COVID-19 on pregnant women. Pregnant women don't seem to have more severe symptoms. They have similar symptoms like non-pregnant women. Mostly don't have severe symptoms. There is not enough evidence that COVID-19 is transmitted to the fetus via blood or amniotic fluid, but it may cause premature delivery. There is case series and case reported in which premature delivery occurs which women were pregnant and affected by COVID-19. Now, supporting the pregnant women, there is three types of support, physical, mental, and family support. Screen the patient for symptoms, educate the patient how to uh, prevent the spread of disease. Prenatal care is very important. She should have to improve her nutrition, have to adopt healthy habits, do proper exercise and take proper sleep. Depression, uh, screen for the depression, perinatal depression. Always look for signs and symptoms of depression and anxiety. Educate the patient about the disease. There is need of spiritual support. Family support is very important for pregnant ladies because they are very sensitive. Stay healthy. How to stay healthy? Eat healthy meals, do exercise, take proper sleep, avoid tobacco, alcohol and drugs, visit physician regularly, don't miss your antenatal checkups. Keep in touch with your physician, decrease stress and anxiety. Lactation and COVID-19, all international world health guidelines agree, breastfeeding should continue and be spotted during COVID-19 pandemic with appropriate precautions. There is a myth that breastfeeding is contraindicated. No. Studies have shown and all international health guidance say that breastfeeding is not contraindicated. Patient should be encouraged to breastfeed her child or infant. In mild symptom, breastfeed is continued. She should wear mask, wash hands frequently, maintain social distancing, 
clean or disinfect surface regularly. If patient have severe symptom, she can breastfeed. She should seek support. She should pump or express her breast milk. Have healthy person to feed pumped milk. Clean equipment frequently. Wash hands frequently. Provide education. Provide mental and emotional support to the pregnant lady or lactating mother. See lactation support as needed. She should consult with her physician if she had any question in her mind. Infant and child in COVID-19. Children can be silent carriers. Children can also be affected. They can be affected. They can have symptoms. They can be silent carriers. So limit exposure to pregnant mothers. Limit exposure to newborns. Practice preventive measures such as maintain social distancing, wear mask, wash hands frequently, don't touch eyes, face, mouth, avoid clouds, continue breastfeeding, keep well child immunization visits. But one thing is very important, please call before going there. Because uh, avoid, we have to avoid overcrowdings. We have to call and take an appointment from our consultant or physician before going there. So can, we can avoid crowds. Now care for the medical staff. How medical staff can be prevented? Always try it your patients. It means that we try it patients, which patients need urgent treatment or urgent appointment, they should be given on priority basis and normal routine and detailed checkups or routine normal patients can be given appointments later on. Consider telehealth options. It is a very good option. You have to consider telehealth option, telemedicine option. I'll consult your physician if you have some minor symptoms or minor problems on telemedicine. Report any symptoms if you have. If medical staff have any symptoms, they should or he should be report immediately. Wear proper personal equipment. Wash hands frequently. Take time for self-care. How we can do our self-care? Take healthy meals, take proper sleep, do exercise. Social distancing, always maintain social distancing. Wash hands frequently, wear masks, in this way, you can prevent yourself from this disease and can take proper care of yourself and your patients. Now, thank you so much.